chess opening time, I actually posted the question, which is opening you're having a hard time to deal with? And Queen's Gambit accepted is one of those chess openings they struggle to handle with. So let's discuss Queen's Gambit accepted, not declined, accepted. If you're ready, let's begin our lesson. D4, D5, C4. Since we're talking about accepted, not declined, we will not go E6. Instead, D takes C4. As you can see, the black pawn or the D5 pawn is controlling the E4 aside from attacking the C4 pawn. So after D takes C4, it's up for the white piece or for the white player to control or to immediately grab the e4 square by moving what e4 or knight c3 the main line for this opening is knight f3 and then knight f6 once again the e4 square is controlled by the knight or e3 getting back the c4 c4 pawn so we will not go by moving e3 or knight f3 or knight c3 if you are following my chess opening lessons i'm always going for short complicated and interesting lines so we will go e4 so after e4 black can have um you know a lot of choices here knight f6 knight c6 can go c5 or b5 or e6 but let's go e5 in this position white can go d5 but expect the fight back from black can go c6 neutralizing the d5 square or this crazy f5 move which is definitely interesting to continue with or if black wants just a silent move knight f6 just the main line for this um line but we will not go d5 instead let's go knight f3 so what happened if black would go e takes d4 bishop takes c4 knight c6 if you want to um protect the d4 square why not c5 it, it looks like um, a better defender than the knight. The problem of this move is this knight e5 um, move. Imagine the bishop c4, the knight e5 pressuring the f7, and there is no good piece to protect this one aside from the bishop to e6. So after bishop takes, pawn takes, queen h5, of course, if you will uh, move up, that will be some trouble for black. So let's go g6. So knight takes g6, knight f6, and queen h3. As you can see, the queen is pressuring the e6 pawn, also the rook. It's kind of uncomfortable for black to play with. But according to engine, well, this is pretty equal position. You all have to do, if you're, if you're the black player here, and you are into this kind of wild game, just sacrifice the rook, and after of knight takes e4. So if we will continue castling and then queen f6 for a quick trade, you can you can go for a queen trade and then capture. So according to engine still equal, but if you are the black piece here, it's kind of uncomfortable playing this kind of position. Let's go back to um, after the knight f3, c5 will be met by this knight e5 move. So instead of instead of protecting using the pawn, let's go knight c6. Let's go back. So how about this bishop b4 check? Bishop b4, of course, knight c3. Then e takes d4. Knight takes. Just imagine queen a4 check and attacking the bishop. So black has to deal with this kind of, you know, uh, trick and tactics by, by the white piece. Can go knight d7 or knight e7. Not knight c6 because after knight takes c6, Pawn takes, or let's say, queen takes d, king takes, pawn takes. The rook on a1 can go c1 and pressuring. Just imagine, triple pawns. Let's let's capture this one. So, the blacks, um, pawn formation is not as good and as not as pleasant than white's pawn formation. So, if you will pick which pawn formation do you want to play with, of course you gotta. You gotta pick the white piece here. So let's not go by moving knight c6 after of um, knight takes d4. Instead, let's go knight d7 or knight e7. Let's go knight e7 for the quick castling. If queen a4 check, knight bc6 um, covering the check. At the same time, 
protecting the bishop on uh, bishop on b4 if knight capture capture and white can go bishop e3 and this is the ninth move in the opening so if we will continue bishop e6 development for black so you may continue the middle middle game study for this wins gambit accepted